Hello and welcome to this week's episode of Matt Carriers and we're in our fourth Sunday of Lent already and it's Mothering Sunday today which is wonderful so we pray for our mothers and we ask God to bless our mothers and in the church it's also called Litare Sunday and Litare is a Latin word it means rejoice rejoice why because Easter is just three weeks away In three Sundays time, we'll be celebrating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. So shall we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. So let's listen to this reading from the Gospel of John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, God's chosen one must be lifted up just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so that everyone who believes in him will live forever. Yes, God loved the world so much that God sent the only Son of God into the world. Everyone who believes in him will live forever. God did not send the Son of God to judge the world, but to save it. And everyone who believes in him is saved. But those who refuse to believe in him are already being judged. And this is how they are judged. When the light came into the world, they chose to stay in the dark instead of coming into the light. They like to stay in the dark because the things they're doing are very evil. In the dark, no one can see the evil things they're doing. But those who do good things love to come into the light. In the light, everyone can see the good things they do because they believe in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So another interesting episode. We've got this person called Nicodemus. And he comes to Jesus at night because he doesn't want anyone else to know that he's speaking to Jesus. He wants it to be a little bit secret. And he asks Jesus some questions. And as part of that, we hear what Jesus said to him today. And Jesus began, did you hear? God's chosen one. He's talking about himself, Jesus. He's the chosen one of God, the Messiah, must be lifted up just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert. So that's a bit of a strange thing to say, isn't it? Well, let me go back to just after Moses has taken the people into the desert and they've escaped from Egypt where they were slaves and the people start grumbling a bit. They say, why did you take us out of Egypt so we had to die in this desert? And they were crossing the desert, don't forget, for 40 years. They'd forgotten that they'd been freed from slavery, but they hadn't yet reached the promised land. So God was a bit upset with them and God sent these fiery serpents they're described as in the Bible. And we don't know exactly what they were, but there are these snakes. Can you see the snakes on the screen? And these snakes, we think they might be the ones that were there in the desert because they look a bit like they're fiery, don't they, with the colour. And they were biting some of the Israelites. And if they bit some of the Israelites, the poor old Israelites would die. They were really poisonous with their bite. So they spoke to Moses and they said, Moses, we've been wrong. We've sinned against God. Will you speak to him on our behalf and ask him to take these fiery servants away or to save us? So Moses did that. And God said to Moses, what I need you to do is to put a bronze serpent up on what's called a standard, like a pole. You can see in the picture there, Moses has put one up there. And whenever someone's been bitten by a fiery serpent, they can come and they can look at the bronze serpent and then they'll live, they'll be cured, they won't die. And that's what happened. People looked at the bronze serpent and they were able to be cured and healed. And so in our gospel, Jesus was saying that he, the son of God, God's chosen one, is going to be lifted up as well, just as the bronze serpent was. Can you see the shape of it where Moses is tapping there with his staff? It looks a bit like a cross, doesn't it? And Jesus was lifted up on a cross, a bit like that bronze serpent in the desert. 
Jesus was lifted up on a cross. And if people looked at the bronze serpents, they were healed and they were saved from death. And Jesus says, if anyone looks at me and knows who I am, sees me with the eyes of faith and knows that I'm God's chosen one, the son of God. If anyone believes in me, then they won't die. They won't perish, but they'll be cured. They'll be healthy again. They'll have eternal life. So as we come together today, we can listen to God who so loved the world that he gave us Jesus, his only son, his one and only son, so that when we look to Jesus and when we believe in Jesus, then we know that we have eternal life, that we'll be healed, that we'll be well again. So something for us to think about and pray about today. How can Jesus make you feel better today? So we've got our mat carrier story here. Look at the person on the mat there. His friends brought him to Jesus and they lowered him down through the roof so he could be close to Jesus. And Jesus made him better. He made him better in his soul by forgiving his sins. And he made him better by making him be able to walk today. So a little prayer. I'm going to say a little prayer for you, first of all. Heavenly Father, we ask you to bring healing to your children today, healing for their souls and bodies. If there's some way in which they ache or hurt, we ask you to make them feel better by the power of your love. And we ask this for you are our Lord forever and ever. Amen. So you've imagined that you're the person on the mat. Now I want you to imagine you're one of the mat carriers. And maybe there's someone you know or who love, or maybe someone you've seen on the telly who's not well, who's poorly or who's upset or who's hurt in some way that needs Jesus to bring them healing. And what I want you to imagine, you're one of those mat carriers. And in your heart and in your imagination, I want you to imagine you're carrying that person. So whoever that person is, imagine them there on the mat. And imagine that you're carrying that person to Jesus and you put them down at the feet of Jesus and we're going to pray for them. So, dear Jesus, whoever it is that we're bringing to you on this mat, the person that we care for, that we love, who's hurting or the person that we've seen on the telly that's struggling or sad in some way. We ask you to bring them some healing and some peace by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the power of your love. For you are Lord forever and ever. Amen. Jesus always wants to, to heal us and, and make us better. So it's good sometimes for us to allow others to bring us to Jesus to be healed. And sometimes it's good for us to take others to him in our prayers. And we're going to offer all our prayers now for everyone who's healing in the world to God, our Father, just as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Now, as I said at the beginning, and as you probably know, when I'm recording this, today is Mothering Sunday. So I'm going to ask uh, in a moment a little blessing for all of your mothers, wherever they may be. I'm going to ask God to bless them. But before we do that, we're going to ask our Heavenly Mother, Mary, to bless us with her prayers. Can you see her in the picture? She's holding Jesus close to her heart and she wants to hold us close to her heart as well and bless us and pray for us. So we'll say, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing upon all our mothers. We thank you for the love that they show us, which reveals to us your great love, your immense love. We ask you to watch over our mothers 
and to keep them always close to your heart and to help us to be loving sons and daughters. And we ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.